Yeah, so I decided to, to do one more example uh, question involving the sine rule. Now let's have a look at this situation. I have to find the length of x, and it's not a right angle triangle. And the sine rule says, uh, so the sine of A over its teammate length is the same as the sine of B over his teammate length. Yeah, It's the same as the sine of C, as you wish, over his teammate length. Or I could turn it around, yeah, I say that A over the sine of A equals B over the sine of B. Now let's have a look. X, if I want to find X, the length of X, I need its teammate angle. Yeah, so the opposite angle over here, yeah, because I'm looking now at this particular triangle. Okay, well they don't give me his teammate angle, do they? Yeah, so is it therefore impossible to answer this question? No, of course not, because they give me more information. Angles on the straight line, 180 degrees, if that is 130, that makes this angle 50 degrees. Agree? All right. So let's start by writing that down. So do not give your hopes up if you don't see the answer after a few seconds. Yeah? Just approach it as a puzzle and have a look. Okay, can I find somehow his teammate angle? And yes, I could. Very simple. Now, I always put my unknown in the numerator. So I'm going to say x over the sine of 50 degrees equals, and the other thing I need for the sine rule is a full team, which means an angle and its teammate length. Well, they give me a length here, which is seven, but I don't know his teammate angle. And they give me an angle here, but I don't know its teammate length. Oh dear, must be a mistake, isn't it? Yeah, it's impossible, right? They made a mistake. No, of course not. Come on, eh? calm down. They will never ask things that you are unable to solve. Yeah? Because can I calculate this length? Well, that's going to be fairly difficult. It's actually going to be impossible. However, can I calculate this angle? Yes, of course. Because don't forget, the things you've learned a couple of years ago, they still apply when you go to the higher grades. Because 180 degrees in a triangle take away the 50 degrees there, take away the 70 degrees there, is going to equal 60 degrees. So actually, they do give you that angle, it's just a little bit in disguise, okay? You gotta find it, yeah? You gotta do some work for it, but there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so a length over its teammate's sign equals, I started with a length, so seven over the sign of 60 degrees, okay? And then x is 7 over the sine of 60 degrees times the sine of 50 degrees. Yeah, I'm rearranging the formula to make x the subject. Now I grab my calculator. You see, I don't need my calculator at the beginning, only at the end, yeah, because you write down your workings. 7 divided by the sine of 60 degrees equals, there we go, and then we times that all by the sine of 50 degrees. Okay, and three significant figures, it's going to give me 6.19. Now, do I have to do the inverse sign or whatever? No, I don't, because I'm not looking for an angle. Okay, I'm not looking for an angle, I'm looking for a length 6.19. Centimeters, meters, kilometers, they don't give me units, so I could say 6.19 units long. All right, it's time for the cosine rule. See you there.